UI. In this video, you learn about the Wait mode, a special mode that can pause your UI flow. Let's get started. All right, so I have a simple navigation and a simple graph. I have several views, and maybe I want to wait a bit between number one and number two, and let's see it. How can I do that? How can I use a pause between one and two? So if I press two, it happens instantly. Now, let's say I want to add a weight. How can I do that? Eh, well, very easy. I just create a weight node. Right click on the graph, create node, system, weight. And by default, it is set to wait for one second. So let's go through here. Let's change the path. And now, whenever I go from one to two, we will wait one second. And let's check it out. Let's uh, maximize. So from one, we go to two, wait one second, and that's it. We just added a pause. What else can you do with the wait node? Well, quite a lot actually. You, you can uh, set it to wait for a random duration, let's say between one and three. And right away, as I change this, you'll see that this will change. So let's, uh, let's go back to one. And check it out, it waited for 2.8 seconds. And every time we do that, it will change the interval. So let me zoom in on this so it's easier to see how it works. And uh, yeah, one, 2.81, check it out, it just calculates. So the next time it will be 1.35. 2.81. And so on. What else can you do? Well, you can wait for a game event. So you can pause your uh, UI flow. For example, if you're loading something or maybe you're waiting to download an image or something and you're showing a spinner, you might want to wait for a game event. Let's say loaded or uh, game loaded, loading a game or whatever. So you can pause your uh, UI flow. I won't show it now because I'm not sending a game event, but that's how it works. Another thing that it can do, it can wait for a scene to load. You can set a scene name to get loaded, let's say level one, or you can set a build index, three, for example, to one or zero, or you can wait for any scene to load. And this is especially useful, again, if you want to load a level, and you want your UI to be uh, stopped and show maybe a loading screen or something, you can use this to wait for any scene to load and that's it, it will continue after that. You can wait for a scene to unload any scene or for a particular scene to unload. So if you are loading three or four scenes, let's say maybe you want the fourth scene to be the one that triggers the UI flow to resume, so to go to the next node. Or you can uh, set it until an active scene has changed. And again, you can say any, any scene or by name or by build index, of course. And that's it for the wait node. It, it is very useful and it allows for a lot of customization. And whenever you use it in your graph, you will see exactly what its uh, setup is. So if it's set for a time period, it will wait for a random amount in this uh, case or for a set duration. If it's a game event, scene loaded and you'll know exactly what build index or scene name, my scene, unload, check out how it changed and active scene change. Yeah, that's it for the wait node. Thank you.